Hey crypto kids, this is Crypto Dad, here to help you and your families gain some crypto wealth. However, this is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. Any investment in crypto is risky. Simply showing you what I'm investing in and could potentially make you some money too, if you were to join me in my journey. Alright guys, so before I get started with any kind of updates and such, I wanted to ask out there if any of my subscribers or anybody watching this video knows how to do intro videos. Uh, please contact me. I'm looking to do one. Just send me maybe an idea you might have. I have one in mind, but I'm open to any suggestions. Uh, any kind of examples you might have that you've done in the past. And uh, your pricing. And if you guys don't know where to contact me, you go over here to my channel and you hit the about. And when you go to about, well, on your section, there'll be a little button here that you can press that'll actually show you guys, it says like message. And when you go to message from there, it, you can send me a private message and, and I'll be able to respond to you guys. So if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. I'm looking to do an intro. All right, so today the update's gonna be on uh, BitAI. So let's come over here to an update they gave us yesterday. So we're about a day behind, but you know, as like I told you before, I'm busy, you know, I got kids and such, so it's a little difficult. So they updated us yesterday, February 12th, 2018. Statement on exit scams. So as everybody knows, it's official. Lupex has exit scammed. It's very unfortunate for a lot of people. Um, I myself has been a little depressed, you know, because I was invested in it. Obviously, I didn't invest what I could not lose, but any kind of loss is depressing. Um, hopefully, these all continue to do well and doesn't follow the same path of Lupex. So, uh, well, let's hope everything does well. Let's go into it. So we all just heard, we all just heard about Lupex. We all know about Devor and BitConnect and many others which have left, many with a bitter taste of cryptocurrency industry as a whole. Many have asked us if we intend to exit and of course our answer is no. However, words are cheap. Action is what everyone wants to see. The real question should be, why have these companies collapsed and what can BitAI do to prevent the same? Let me stop here real quick, guys. If you guys want, you can fast forward this to 1.25, 1.5 speed. I'm going to read through this. It's a little story time, but I want you guys to listen to this. It's a very important message. When we launched BitAI as a lending platform, we used the term lending as that is what people understood, probably in hindsight. The term lending was not the best term for us to pick up. Each and every member in our platform is a cryptocurrency investor. People who would love to take advantage of the potential profits cryptocurrency trading can give, but also people who have no idea of how to trade. That is what BitAI is. Amy, AI trading machine, is a tool for, the, for you to use to trade the markets without needing to know how to read a chart. Amy exists. BitAI token is Amy Air, Amy's heir. Okay, whatever that means. She needs it. I guess it's to survive. That is why we also always said that BitAI token is a utility token. You send it to the trading liquidity pool and Amy uses it to calculate your share in that pool. So why did other platforms fail and why is BitAI different? We suspect the other platforms never traded or had any intention of trading. They most likely got hit very hard with 60% plus drop in value of cryptocurrencies since mid-December. To understand the difference between BitAI and these platforms, you need to understand how Amy works. Amy is, as you all know, artificial intelligence. However, when creating artificial intelligence, the developers must feed it parameters within which to trade and learn. Think of this like teaching a child what is right and what is wrong. One of the parameters which Amy has built in is called a safety. In other words, Amy's, prior, Amy's priority is to keep the original investment as intact as possible without running a loss, appropriate for the current massive bear market, which is mainly due to panic driven by FUD, is an inbuilt safety which prevents Amy from trading. In fact, Amy is not made a sing, is not made of a single trade for several weeks, has not made a single trade for several weeks. So it says here, why professional traders will tell you sometimes the best trade is not the trade at all. Well, let me stop here real quick. 
as you guys know, you've seen my uh, uh, thumbnail now. It's in reference to this over here. So I understand sometimes they say, you know, you gotta know when to hold and when to fold them. Sometimes don't trade is better than, than trading at all. Yeah, sometimes. But guys, bit AI, if you're listening, you guys here are using your trading bot. Okay, right now, more than ever, you should be using it to try to test out its ins, its outs, the parameters, as you say. I understand it's a bear market. We're in negative right now. There's red markets, but let's let's be real here. You have a robot. They have limitations. They know when to buy and sell. You don't have to restrict them from doing so. They do that themselves. So we also have CWE, Crypto World Evolution that I'm in. That itself, everybody's using trading bots, and even in this bear market, they're making profits. So how can they make profits, but yet you guys decide to not run here for two to three weeks? Right now, prior to the launch of your platform, should be the time you should be utilizing that to test it out. So by you saying you're not running two or three weeks because of it being a negative market, bear market, does that mean we need to worry? Does that mean later in the future, if we have another bear market during your platform while you guys are paying, you're not going to do any trades in essence, maybe have lower percentage rates given or none at all. You know, that's that's a negativity you guys should not be putting out there. You should be practicing. You should be testing out the market and play with it. This way, if you see you're taking a little bit of losses, you might need to adjust those parameters when there's a negative market. So I don't agree with the fact that they're not trading for two, three weeks. If anybody else agrees or not, not sure. But this is my point and why I'm going to make this so. Amy, if you seek Amy, let me know. Find her. Start working. Come on, guys. In the current environment, it would be too risky to trade even for AI. The chances of loss exceeds the chances of success. So Amy will stay away and instead will just monitor the market and learn from them. <laughs> Therefore, while other platforms are fully dependent on Bitcoin movement being in a consistent bull market, BitAI will simply wait it out and move according to the best and safest strategy. Many will now question whether Amy can short. The answer is yes, she can, but there has to be some stability. When you have panic and consistent negative news, then she will stay away. When the dips are due to natural resistance areas of profit taking, then she can short, depending on the potential. Winds of change. Since the ICO, the industry has changed dramatically and everyone must adapt. There is real fear in the industry, much of which is unjustified. Lending platforms have been given a terrible name because of those because of these exit scams. And we really do not want to be associated with any such platforms. As we said previously, we need to change the way BidAI works. The entire platform slash exchange needs rethinking to make sure BitAI is profitable for everyone involved. Many of the changes will be officially announced when we launch the platform, but here are some things we are doing. The word lending will be dropped, as every other platform is. You are not lenders, but you are traders. If you want Amy to trade on your behalf, then you will create a drop with BitAI to send the, liquid, the trading liquidity pool. BitAI will float against Bitcoin, we are dropping USD valuations. BitAI sent to the TLP, that's the trading liquidity pool, by members will be burned. We will also burn reserve coins on a ratio of one to one example. There are approximately 8.6 million tokens held by members, which include purchase tokens and commissions. If all these tokens are sent to the trading liquidity pool, they will be burned and we will also burn another 8.6 million tokens which were pre-mined and or which are currently being mined slash staked. This will reduce the BitAI circulation dramatically and help return, retain the value of a BitAI token over time. It also makes BitAI a true utility token. If you do not know what burning a token can mean for you, then read this article. Anti-dumping measures being implemented. This is not a freeze on accounts, but they are measures which will prevent dumping to protect the overall community. We believe that the new measures we will take will ensure longevity and profitability. 
These measures also prepare us for a launch of external exchanges, which can be done when there is stability in the market. Full details of all the changes will be given at launch of the platform. Now is on the staking wallets. The staking wallets for both Windows and Mac OS are now available for download. These wallets are in beta. We will ask we will be asking some people to help us test these wallets to make sure everything is fine. Guys, I'll let you know right now, I am not gonna be a part of this. And I don't recommend anybody else does. Testing these wallets, I'd rather them test them themselves or find someone else. But you don't want to be susceptible to any kind of viruses, any kind of bugs in your computer, or even possibly losing some of your coins when you transfer over. They're in beta, they're in test, you don't know what the outcome's gonna be. So I am staying away till they say it's officially ready and beta's been done. Uh, once fully tested, we will allow you to send your BitAI token to your staking wallets and you may start staking. In the meantime, we would like to invite you to download the wallet to your computer, read the instructions and install them on your computer. If you are not already logged in, please log in now and go here to download. So remember, stay away, I wouldn't do that now. Facebook has finally given back admin access to our page, so we're back on there. And that was for the updates. All right, guys, so that's the update with BitAI. Let's just do a quick run through and then we'll finish this off. Uh, for those of you who have Libra, Libra just made a communication that um, I guess whenever these platforms disappear, they want to come out and say they're still here. Um, so Libra made a communication saying that they're here to stay and they're going to make some changes too to their wording and such and other services that they have. Monetized coin, as we all know, they just finished their ICO, so we'll be getting ready for the next phase. We'll be waiting on any kind of announcements. I'll keep you guys up to date. Chrysos originally has said, I think it was like the 14th or the 15th, they'd be going to the external exchanges. That is going to be HitBTC and Yobit. So if you guys don't have any accounts yet, I recommend getting your accounts. Go on there and try to apply for an account and get approved. So this way you can be ready to sell your token on the exchange, external exchange, if internal exchange is not working yet properly or if it's still locked. Now, whether it's going to be the 14th or 15th, we don't officially know just yet because there's been no communication. Hopefully this continues and they actually make it for that time. If it's delayed, maybe they'll make a note somewhere here. Novaland, guys, they are currently still in their ICO period. They're in round four. They are at 80 cents and they've sold 80% of their 100,000 tokens for round four. Uh, they are going to be making more changes, apparently, so more news to come on that. And I think they're going to take a little another break period because they're going to be doing uh, more advertisements and other, like we said, about changes and such. All right, guys. So all my links are in the description. Join the Crypto Kids Telegram. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Hit that bell. We're at 588 subs. Maybe this video can put us over 600, hopefully. All right. Well, Crypto Kids, time for me to go back to baby duty. Bye.